Today, let's go behind the scenes of my latest brand photo shoot for winter. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content, and today we're going behind the scenes for my latest brand photo shoot. So in the spring, I did some brand photos which were so fun and turned out so well, and I've actually used these on a lot of my social media and Etsy, and today I'm gonna to be taking you along when I did my brand photo shoot for this upcoming winter. So for these photo shoots, you know, if you have an Etsy store and you're trying to figure out if this is something you should do as well, I would highly recommend you look into the investment side of it and see how much money it would cost you in the long run, how much you would need to make back. So as you can see, this bag has all of the different items I wanna bring with me. I brought different holiday fabrics, I brought different gift ideas, I brought different textures just so that they would show up really well on camera. I even tried to find like green, red, and white items so that it would look like Christmas and the holidays. I went ahead and made a couple of my patterns also using holiday fabrics. I do think for this one I did change the ribbon because I thought the green ribbon looked better than the yellow. And then I just brought a bunch of sewing tools as my Etsy store is sewing related. So whatever your Etsy store or your digital platform, whatever you're selling, definitely try to bring different pieces that may go along with that for the photos. So if you do painting or watercolors, you know, maybe you're bringing some of those paints with you. I do think one thing that helped me a lot with this was because I do digital patterns, I actually did printouts of each of those patterns and brought with the finished product just so you'd be able to see what they look like when they're all done. A lot of these products I ended up not using because we ran out of time, but I felt it was better to have everything sort of ahead of time, all prepackaged, including some little holiday props. And then when we got there, we could decide what we wanted to use or what we didn't need. And then for my photos, I was allowed to have two different outfit changes. We ended up really only using one because of the timing, but I really tried to make these be on brand for holiday theming as well. So my white fur coat, a green skirt, I did bring this green capelet, but there wasn't enough time. On the day of the shoot, I brought a couple extra items as well as everything I would need for clothing. I would highly recommend bringing everything that you can in bags so that it's a lot easier to get in and out on the day of your photo shoot. Mine was very quick, so be sure you look at the timing if you do one so you can be realistic about how much prep time you will have to get into all of your clothes especially if it's something that may take a long period of time to do once I had all of my clothes put together though it was then time to head to the studio location now we ended up using a studio because this was a mini brand shoot so she had about four or five different clients coming in so they were about 20 minutes for the previous one that I did that was a full day of like brand shooting and that also was at this exact same studio. The pictures turned out great from that brand shoot, but because sewing does have so many items involved, it was a lot to pack up. And unfortunately during the transit, we did have one item break. So I would highly recommend, you know, figuring out places that are close to you, or if you can do it in your home studio, that that would be the best place to do brand photos. My last piece of advice for any Etsy stores thinking about doing brand photos is that to really make sure you're taking into account how you're gonna use these photos, can you reuse them, and where would you want them to Go so that you can make sure that you are getting the absolute most for your money as well as making sure it really conveys the story of your store stay tuned for the photos thanks for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe